One of the most consequential policies in Texas is set to have its day in court on Thursday. It's a question of constitutionality. Can Texas detain and in some cases deport undocumented migrants? The mostly Republican supporters of Senate Bill 4 say it's a step in the right direction to securing the border without federal policy. Its detractors call it a show me your papers law and a potentially unconstitutional one at that. Now the fate of that policy will be determined in court. SB4 in some ways was the com was the policy culmination of you know a couple of years of politics in which the governor was using primarily existing executive authority to make major exertions at the border. Senate Bill 4 was passed by the legislature in November, and it's set to take effect in March. It gives Texas law enforcement officers the authority to arrest and, in some cases, deport undocumented migrants, a power that historically has fallen to the federal government. On Thursday, a federal court in Austin will hear arguments over two lawsuits against Senate Bill 4, one from the Department of Justice and one from several immigrants' rights advocacy groups. One of those lead plaintiffs, Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center, demonstrated outside Governor Greg Abbott's mansion in Austin on Wednesday. This court has already found that the state of Texas should not be, um, is not allowed to have barbed wire. That gives me hope and faith. Um, that as we argue about why this law is unconstitutional, we'll, we'll have a shot. Governor Abbott has spent the last several months ramping up Texas's presence at the southern border. Even if the court does grant an injunction halting the law, this is not expected to be the end of the road for Texas sweeping border security policy. If and when a decision comes down on this case is entirely up to the court, but the attorneys that are suing the state specifically say they want an injunction to stop the law from going into effect before March 5th. From outside the Texas State Capitol, Michael Atkinson, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.